Hello my friends, for today's beer review we're going to be taking a look at Big Sky Brewing's Moose Drool Brown Ale. Moose Drool is a beer I've never had and Big Sky Brewing Company is also a brewery who I've never had anything by. Uh, now this just classifies as a brown ale and that could be a lot of things because the um, Rogue Voodoo Donut um, Maple Bacon Syrup or the... Um, pretzel, raspberry, chocolate, those were also considered brown ales, so that could mean anything, I would imagine. Anyway, there is no commercial description on this bottle. All it really tells us is that this beer is 5.1% alcohol by volume, which is just slightly above your average domestic brew. Um, I don't have much else to say about it. I don't have one of these caps. That's a pretty cool cap, so I'm going to definitely save this cap. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get the lid off and see what this beer is all about. I've seen this beer in my local liquor store plenty of times, and the name is kind of intriguing, you know, Moose Drool. Um, but I don't know anything about it, and I finally found it. They have it available for a Build Your Own six-pack now, so I just kind of threw it in and said, uh, I will review it and see what it's like. Once again, I'll be drinking this out of just a standard pint glass today. Straight out of the bottle, it pours a... Kind of an amber color, it sort of looks like amber bock or shiner bock. Let me pour it down the center, see if I can get any kind of head on this. Not a whole lot of head potential. <clears throat> pour to like a quarter finger of just like slightly off-white, light tan. Really film on the beer, it's not really much of a head at all. Um, I don't see hardly, there's hardly any bubbles if any at all streaming up to the top up into the light it is incredibly dark ruby red and dark brown kind of a mixture between brown and ruby it looks really good in the glass at first glance you may think it's um black like a stout but it is in fact a really deep dark ruby brown um, the head has already dissipated down to just a film literally on the beer so um oh and the cap says my beer's MT. Don't know what that means. Let's give it a smell. There's definitely a lot of malt and hops in this. They're very balanced. <clears throat> There's a little bit of nuttiness to the beer also. You might find the lightest hint of coffee in the background um, from the malt, but I don't think it's going to taste like coffee at all. The malts are definitely the heavier of the two, but there are hops there too. Not enough to make it have any kind of citrusy smells, just hops. And kind of that beery beer box sort of smell. So, kind of a beery box smell, light hops, stronger malts, nuttiness. And maybe just the lightest hint of coffee in the background if you really picked it apart and searched for it. Anyway, let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Up front, you do have a little bit of malty nuttiness. I wouldn't say to the extent of it being like a hazelnut beer, but there is malty nuttiness. But that develops almost into like banana, as weird as that sounds. Um, it's very light and faint, like a very f light, sweet fruit. Um, <clears throat> but banana is what comes to mind whenever I taste it. Medium heavy body. It's actually pretty creamy. Yeah. Malty nuttiness up front. Develops, develops, develops. And then you get kind of like banana. Just a hint of it at the end. Um, that's strange. I've only had one other beer like that, and that was a uh, Wells banana bread beer, and it was supposed to taste like that. <laughs> so, I would say it's, um, it's, Decently sessionable, very smooth, and goes down pretty easy. Um, what would I rate it? Seven 
7.3, 7.4 out of 10. That's all right. Um, those flavors do sound nice, but they're very light, and that kind of Bach beery beer taste, as I like to say, is what really takes over. Um, there's definitely malts and nuttiness up front and a little bit of banana, strangely, in the back, but it's not enough for it to be like, wow, this has those crazy flavors. It's just a little tiny hint. Mostly it just kind of drinks like a strong Bach beer. Um, not to say it's boring, it's just not super interesting. Anyway, yeah, about 7.4, 7.3, 7 7.4 out of 10. It's all right. Anyway, that has been Moose Drool Brown Ale by Big Sky Brewing Company. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, and tune in for the next beer review.